Welcome back, folks. Welcome to Earthly Treasures. This is Tammy. Today is Thursday, August the 24th of the year of 2023. Today, I think the temperature is supposed to be 102 or 101. I don't really know. Um, yesterday was Wednesday. It was 103. Heat index of 113. I believe that's what my sister said. I don't know. I didn't do my research. She did. And, um, let me adjust my phone. There we go. We had to go to a funeral. It was, whew, it was hotter than a firecracker on the 4th of July. Hot. And, um, today, of course, I don't know why we're bouncing around. It's because it's bumpy road. Old car. Great combination. Anyway, today I'm doing some running around. I had to go by the uh, grocery store. I've got to go to the fancy, expensive grocery store because I've got to get some vegan options. We are having a guest speaker at church this weekend, and he's vegan, which is fine. I mean, there's some vegan things that I really enjoy. But I got to get vegan cheese. Mm, mm, mm. I have not met a package of vegan cheese that I can say I like. But, I'm going to give it a try. Um, I'm going to get some vegan cheese. I have a friend that's going to make some vegan sour cream. Never been there, done that. So, that'll be different. Um, we're having what we call haystacks. But, in the real world, not the church world, but out there in the world, the wild, they call them taco salad. And, um, so we're having that, and it is a production, because you've got church folks that you split everything up, one brings beans, one brings onions, one brings this, that, and everything. It's quite an ordeal to, or to organize, and you have to make sure that the people that you pick to bring the key ingredients actually remember to bring the key ingredients. I mean, because, you know, if somebody forgets the tomatoes, you'll survive. But, I mean, there's just certain things that, you know, if you can't have a taco salad without lettuce, I mean, we agree. Then it's just a taco. But, well, I guess some people say the same thing about tomatoes. But, anywho, I'm on my way to Publix. Well, it's on my list to do. I'm on my way to church, actually, right now. I got a lot of copies to make. I got to make our church bulletin and post some signs and stuff like that. And, uh, come on, what's up? I'm kind of concerned about our little um, vegetable stand man. Tuesday, when I was on my way to the viewing, there was like five, six sheriff's office there with his car, his truck was there. The doors were open. And, um, I didn't see an ambulance. I didn't see a rescue. I didn't see anything like that. And I was just concerned that the heat or something happened and got to him. And, or it could be just that he's just not going to be there this week because it is so hot. I mean, it is like... Sweat in places you didn't even know you could sweat. Good grief. And, I mean, it doesn't matter if you step in the shade. You're hot. So, anyway, stop whining because it won't be long and we'll be in February and we'll be freezing our tail off. So, I might as well just stop complaining about the heat because it won't be long and I'll be complaining about the cold. But you know what? I'd rather complain about the cold than complain about the heat. I can always warm up. I can always slap another layer of clothes on. But you can only get so naked before somebody calls the law. So, anyway. But that's what I gotta do today. I've got a lot of stuff that I need to take to the thrift store. And I've got some things in this. I mean, I look like them in the 
that a word? It's a southern word, if nothing else. A few doodads in the back that I'm going to take to my booth. Eventually, either today or tomorrow, I haven't decided. Our washing machine died. We just bought this thing six weeks ago. Okay, let me just tell you the washing machine saga that's going on in our lives. Two years ago in July, July of 2021, we bought a washing machine from Lowe's. Paid about $1,300, $1,400 out of room. It's one of those stackable apartment kind. You know, the little kind like that. And, um, Two years to the day, it died. Well, the washer worked, but the dryer would not work. We thought it was the motor that was burned up in it. But, you know, we don't know. So, we pulled it out, set it on the porch. My husband dinked around with it. And then we just said, you know what? We didn't, we're not warranty type people. We do not buy warranty stuff. Because most of the time, you pay umpteen hundreds of dollars. And... It, it's just a waste of money. So we didn't buy the warranty. Anyway, um, so I, the washing machine works. Well, I slapped it on Facebook for $100. Of course, it didn't sell. So we ended up giving it away to somebody that knew how to fix it. Because we sure don't. And, um, he said he probably should be able, he would be able to fix it. Well, I don't think it was the motor. I think it was like a relay switch or something. Anyway, he said he didn't have any problems. He said he'd probably fix it. So we're like, okay, fine. You got blessed. And, and we got blessed because I got the thing off our porch. But in the meantime, before he came and picked the thing up, um, we just went down to, um, in Birmingham or whereabouts. And bought a new one from um it's like a dent and bent place i mean they're good washing machines they're brand new washing machines but maybe they got scratched in uh transit maybe they you know tipped over got scratched or whatever some of them look like they got ran over by a truck but you know hey you don't get those and we didn't we bought one that um it had a scratch on the side of it I mean, a scratch. It didn't have a dent, bent, nothing. And um, we got it for $899. Instead of $1,500 because you know, everything is, you know, double, triple. Since we bought the last one. And, um, and that side, that scratch is going to be against the wall. So, you know, and even if it was just shining like new money, I didn't care. Because as long as the thing washed dried I mean who cares and um but anyway it was against the wall so it was no big deal that little fart died yesterday I went to wash clothes I mean I put my favorite pajamas in there and a couple of towels and such put some soap in there and push the button nothing nothing he didn't even attempt to even do anything the dryer works, but the washer don't. I said, well, isn't that just something? You know, the last one, the dryer didn't work, but the washer worked. Now this one, the dryer works, but the washer doesn't work. What's up with that? So, <clears throat> this one, when we bought it, we paid $8.99 for it. $900. Let's just round up, Tammy. Make math easy. Um, we did pay for the... Um, service plan. I don't know what you call it. I said warranty, but I don't know if that's the right word. It was $160. We paid an extra $160 for five years. Now, the first year, we actually called GE, and they will either come out and fix it or replace it. And uh, the um, last four years, uh, I don't know who you call that. You call somebody else. But, um, that little booger died six weeks into the game. And it died. Nothing. Nothing. Not a thing. So, they're supposed to come out tomorrow and dink around with it. And my husband's going to be there while I'm out farting around. Thought I would share that with you. It's always something in it, folks. Anyway.
anyway, uh, so I'm doing that. I'm going to be turning up here soon, going into the church, make my coffees, and then I'll pick you back up, and uh, we'll go into Publix. I have never really taken my phone into a public setting. You know, I know a lot of YouTubers do, and they show, this is what they got on sale here. Well, you know, most people shop for groceries anyway. Very few of us go out in the wild and hunt for our meat or hunt for our vegetables and whatever. So, most of us know the prices of beans and vegetables and, and all that. So, I've never really done that, but I think I might give it a try today if I get enough courage. I'm not a... face type person. That's why I like you too. I got all kinds of friends when I'm on behind a camera. <laughs> and I'm brave when I'm behind a camera. But I do have a couple of events coming up. I want to tell you that. I have a couple of events coming. We have a church camping event coming up. I'm recording all of that. Then we have a family event coming up in um, September. And I'm going to record that. Then we have an Israel trip coming up in October another family but this will be with my uh, husband and his kids um, and um, November or December I can't remember if it was Thanksgiving or Christmas we're supposed to get together isn't that sad <laughs> can't remember so what but we're supposed to get together and do that but anyway I'm getting ready to turn up here soon and my battery's running dead so I might as well go ahead and sign off now thank you make the best out of life do the best that you can with what you've got. And remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Bye.